Ravona Renslayer just came out. I'm gonna be honest, okay? No one is really looking at this card like she's gonna be that it card for this week. We're definitely seeing some kind of OTA change for her soon. But until that OTA change comes, I feel like I have found what could work for the time being. I call this deck, We Are The TVA, okay? This deck kind of revolves around Ravona. Um, it works if you don't get her, but it works even better if you do. The deck consists of The Hood, Forge, Viper, Ironheart, Morph, Ravona Renslayer, Jubilee, Hobgoblin, Iron Man, White Tiger, Elioth, and American Chavez. Now I'm gonna have some gameplay going on the side so y'all can see how I kind of pilot the deck as I also discuss how you should be piloting the deck, okay? Turn one, Um, you typically don't wanna play the hood if you don't have Viper on your turn one play. If you have Viper in your turn one play, which you are gonna see a lot in the gameplay, you're, you're gonna get the most success from there because you're able to clog them up early, okay? So if you have Viper, you play the hood on one, on two, you Viper. Um, if you don't have the hood, um, again, if you don't have Viper in your arsenal, but you do have the hood, you could maybe forge. I like to wait on forge until I have Ravona Renslayer down. Being able to forge Iron Man or like forge my White Tiger is very beneficial and you want to see it later on in the game. So on turn two, you Viper if you have the hood down and if you have Viper within those two turns. On turn three, this is where you want to play Ravona if you have her. If you don't have Ravona on three, you may be Morph. Most likely, you're going to be playing Morph if you have Morph. If you don't have Morph, you don't want to play Ironheart until late game. If you have Ravona down on turn four, you would like to Hobgoblin, especially if he's in your hand. Um, Hobgoblin on four is very disrupting, okay? You would like to Hobgoblin on perhaps the lane that you vipered your hood because yeah that's just a lot of power that they're just not going to be able to catch up with it doesn't matter what they put there they're just not going to be able to catch up with it okay you have three power to their like negative nine 12 whatever they have okay it's, it's terrible to deal with turn five you want an iron man um on turn five you will have your iron man on four your white tiger will also be a four cost so maybe this is where you would like one of fours because fours would be a one because of ravona so on turn five you will probably like forge iron man forge white tiger you know what i'm saying depending on how the game is looking for you depending on how the locations are looking for you um, they're going to be a lot of locations that are not going to benefit the other player because you can get into them with White Tiger. You know what I'm saying? It kind of works like move, but White Tiger is the only one you got. And on turn six, of course, we are already above and, and beyond in one lane because of all the negative on the field. So a Lyoth is just pretty much a sweep, okay? A Lyoth is like, okay, well, they they will possibly play here to try to keep up power. They will possibly play here. A Lyoth is kind of a guess, but the way you play the deck and the way you're going to see a live is kind of a obvious answer okay it's very easy to tell where they're going to play so a almost hits every single time and then of course we have america chavez for that consistency i mean who doesn't love consistency right oh uh, replacements if you would try to replace a i'm gonna tell you right now you can't you, you, you simply can't all right there is no card in the game that does what a does unless Ooh, unless you have the Teenage Warhead, right? Neca Sonic. I, I think, I think that's her name, but I think that would work, right? If you would like snipe, like it basically, if you get a snipe with Elias down, right? You would get that, you would get that Teenage Warhead pop. I think that, yes, it's almost the exact same. So that may work, but if Elias also brings that five power, so you gotta think about that as well, she is gonna die. So whatever power she brung is gone. She may as well be like a, she may as well be a four zero because the power she brings is almost nothing, okay? Obviously you can't play, replace Ravona. The deck is about Ravona. So if you don't have Ravona, then don't even try thinking about making a deck. Cause I'm gonna be honest, without Ravona, this deck is it's pretty bad. <laughs> but besides Ravona and Elias, you should have just about every other card if you're especially if you're around collection level 4000 you should definitely have every single three cost card well three series card in the game you should definitely have every series three card but hey i'm gonna catch y'all in the very end all right y'all just stay tuned whatever power this is iron man you have to beat whatever power this is 30 do you beat 30 what is this is it 30 worth <laughs> let's go bro oh my goodness and it wasn't enough Okay, it simply wasn't enough. He was going to play Hella on the left. I was going to eat it up with Elias. Okay, a smart player definitely would have did Hella um, mid, and I only say that because, yeah, she goes to two power, but she bringing a lot of power back. That two power is worthy. Um, is, is a good sacrifice. Goodness gracious, bro, this deck is crazy. Okay, we need Ravona, we need Viper, we need Hood. If we can get those, if we can pull into all of those within these next few turns, we're fine. But right now, it's kind of dead. Right now, the hand is definitely dead. 
depending on what he plays, Morph may turn up for us or not. Never really know. You're gonna put Hood right here left. That's just the best place for him to go. Just in case as well, we don't get um, Viper. It's just two points instead of negative three. Okay, we got Ravona. This is good. This is good, okay? Ravona on three or before three, always good. Okay. My fellow Ravona player. Ugh. Okay. Let's see whose deck is better. I dub Fee. Okay, we're gonna go um Hobgob middle. Okay, Iron Man. That's pretty good. I am Iron Man. I could Jubilee lift and try to get an Iron Man. Yes, this is a um, this is this is it's, it's hittable. Let's do that. No. Let's do that. We have three energy left. Let's do that. And let's do that. That's winnable. Let's do it. And I think on six, we play Eliath right, depending on if we win this location. Okay, yeah, so the middle location is done. We don't have to worry about that no more at all. Bro, morph turning into a morph is a meme. That has to be a meme somewhere. Morph turning into morph has to be a meme somewhere, right? He's gonna play Elias. I mean, he's gonna play something right here on the left lane. We win. Doesn't matter if he plays um roll anything. So yeah, we win left because of this Elias play. Uh, we don't snap because we don't want him to leave. Want to see if this works? But I think it does. We win automatically left. We automatically win. He cannot catch up right whatsoever. There's no way he can do it. He can't get my Elias. Not in my hand. Good job. It looks good. It just isn't enough power. My young friend. It just isn't enough power. Very nice. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Very disgusting, bro. <laughs> this is where he belongs. Very much so. Victory. Ravona and Eliath sending a tree. KI, I'm gonna be honest. If you don't have Eliath in your deck, I feel like maybe. Maybe you wanna put um Professor X there. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. Eliath just no other really no card really does what Elias does. If, if I would've played X right there, he just would that just would've been an automatic L and a lock-in. We got Hood and Viper on one. So we're gonna Hood now, and then we're gonna Viper right now on this Hood. Very good. Actually, but I wish I would've waited on this, but it's fine though, it's okay. We can get some usage out of this in the middle, so this is fine. Okay, so this is good. We can also get some uses out of um, White Tiger as well. We have pulled into Ravona. We want to play Ravona left. Okay. Debris is good. Debris is actually very good. Not that good for you, though, in this lane. Okay. At all, actually, now. He 100% loses this lane if he does this. If we pull into Jubilee, we can win the middle in Luke's bar. Unless he's playing, like, some kind of, like... Location switcher, but we definitely hobgob now. He's not gonna fill up Grand Central Because he wants to get that pool and we'll turn five right he finna he finna um debris again and lock himself out that lane So we win the left lane We could also win the right lane because we're going to Iron Man over there So that means whenever we do match up in power, we're probably gonna um, you know do some good things here Um, white tiger actually here Guarantees I win right there in the middle as well. Goodness gracious, bro. I have so many options. This is really just set up against them. We snap now. This is where we know we win. If one, because he locked himself out. Two, if he doesn't change Luke's bar, we win automatically. Also, y'all, my camera's about to die. So if my camera dies in the middle of the gameplay, I'm going to keep it going. But just remember that the gameplay is about to... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, the camera is about to go, you know. All right. We do this. We're gonna shoot the white tiger. We're gonna. Uh, if he doesn't beat white tiger right now, he loses. GG's, y'all. This is just. Yeah, I, he doesn't win this in any way, shape, or form. There's just no way he wins this. If only I could just do that in Eliath. That would be just insane. But this wins by itself. There's just no way around it. He's gonna do something to probably boost all these rocks, and it just isn't gonna be enough. That's gone. So I win. I still, I still win that lane. Doesn't really matter. Even if, even if that did work, it just wasn't gonna be enough. 
because you tried to boost it just now. It just didn't work. Victory. Oh my gosh, y'all. This deck is crazy when things work out, okay? When you pull into Ravona, when you pull into Viper, and you pull into um the Hood, all in like kind of the, within three turns. Oh yeah, it's a good game. It's a great game. Okay. Aha, that's pretty good. Um, if we def if we pull into what's his face, we're gonna pull him over there, of course. Um, we forge now? No, we don't forge. We actually don't do nothing now. I don't like playing Viper without having Hood down. Maybe that's a downfall. I don't know, but I really don't like doing it. Um, okay, Ravona right here is perfect. So I can go ahead and Hobgob middle. That'd be good. So I necessarily don't have to worry about Nebula too much. So after this, we really want to start building up in the right lane. That's fine. Perfectly fine. We got Viper now and the Hood, so we can do that next. I feel like Ravona kind of needs to be the card that takes one cause down to zero. I don't know. That'll make her very good, but I don't know, man. Because she definitely still needs some help. But she's not that bad off. I'm not even going to sit here and front shit down. She really not. So negative nine in the middle. I, have to, I don't have to worry about the middle at all. I have to start focusing on the um, on this right lane. White Tiger goes to the right, hopefully. I need a hood for the um, right side, and I'm going to, like, maybe Iron Man. Iron Man right for the win? Yeah, Iron Man right for the win. Maybe. 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 This is, this is weird. This is weird. Um, Forge. Iron Man. It's kind of different. Hold on. Okay, I thought about something different just now. Because if I played all those ones in the middle, it would have been very easy for him to catch up. Okay. I am Iron Man. Okay, expect it. If I would have pulled into um what's his face just now, that would have been very good. So this guarantees uh White Tiger goes there. This also, you know, just free points. Free smoke, free smoke. And things of that nature. I don't think I lose here. I, I still don't think I lose here at all. What is he? he? He can't do anything heavy right here at all because of the four, five, and six. Does he go middle? Odin? Odin mid would be crazy. Odin mid would be very crazy and unexpected. Okay, he doesn't do that. He's not that kind of gamer. Cyclops isn't enough. Storm isn't enough. GG's. That was very well played, you all. Very well played. Very good, man. Ravona. <laughs> Ravona, everybody. Jeez. And that is the deck, man. I'm going to be honest. With this deck, you're going to have to be patient, okay? It's very new. I'm still trying to learn the deck myself, but I've kind of found a little bit of a rhythm, as you can see. Um, It works when it wants to work, okay? If you get those good hands, if you get those pulls, you may as well go ahead and just snap early. I'm going to be honest, because everything else is just going to flow, and it's going to flow very well, okay? This deck isn't the worst Ravona deck, but I feel like it's a functioning Ravona deck, okay? Obviously, it can be sharpened and fine-tuned. Obviously, when more cards come out as well, um, if y'all can, if y'all come up with something a little better around this, um, around this range, let me know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't have Eliath, so what would you replace Eliath with? How would you make this work? You know what I'm saying? If you have all of these cards but one or two. Uh, I don't know. Just let me know in the comment section, alright? Anyways, leave a like. See y'all in the next one. Happy snapping like Cozy say. Oh, oh, oh.